WSR Weezer coming at you today with the motorhome project. This is the 1992 Rexhall Air X motorhome. You've seen it before in some of my other videos, and today's project is a little bit different. Today's project is to hard pipe in the sewer line here at my home. Got the pipes laid out here that will take us along the fence from the through the fence to the motor home where the uh, drains are. We're going to use some three inch PVC. Got the variety of couplings, elbows, and I'm going to tie it in right here at this sewer clean out. So I've got a variety of connectors, the four inch sewer connector, and then a reducer to take us down to three inches, a 90 degree elbow various uh, pieces of 10 foot 3 inch PVC pipe couplings hangers elbows more hangers more pipe I'm going to poke it through the fence right about here and you may be able to see right there at the base of the RV where we're going to tie in so that's our project and the purpose of this the purpose of this project is though we travel in the RV a couple of times a year it does sit here parked on our property most of the year. Why not rent it out for overnight guests through Airbnb? So this is sort of an Airbnb project we've got going here. We already have some guests lined up. And though the RV has holding tanks, I really just want to hard pipe it in so that I don't have to keep emptying those tanks. I can just park it, use it, and rent it out through Airbnb. So I'm going to get started on that project and bring you along for some of it. Thanks for joining us. Let's get going. Opening up this clean out could be a bit of a challenge. Definitely could be a difficult thing to do. Oh, it's turning. Turning's good. Probably should have taken a shop back to get this dirt out of here, but be okay. Right. okay. I remember when I, after we got connected to sewer, city sewer, I remember encasing this clean out in concrete. And I used like a coffee can over here around the wet cement to maintain the shape. And some remains of that coffee can are right here. But I mostly want to make sure, what I want to do is try to clean these these threads really good so that this new guy can uh, so he can screw down as as much as we possibly can get him to do and that may be a bit of a trick all right so let me pause here and I'm gonna clean out these threads I'm not sure what I'm gonna use but uh I just shoot, use the hose or shoot some water in there or something. Right, I got the new male adapter here, and this time I'm trying a generous amount of Vaseline on the uh, thread. See if maybe that'll help. All right, so that's about as far as I can get, but I've got another idea of how I can grab this thing and crank it down a little bit more. And that idea is to wrap a, a ratcheting tie strap around it 
use this screwdriver to see if maybe I can... Aha, uh -huh, that's turning. Yeah, even using a screwdriver. working a little bit more. That is definitely better than I had it. All right, so we're going to leave it at that. It's pretty tight to the pretty tight to the ground over on this side so that may be about all we're going to be able to get but I feel better that it is turned in at least a, a couple of full rev you know revolutions so that's pretty good let's go ahead and glue in our uh, reducer reducer bushing our primer and we've got our glue The next piece we're going to use is this elbow, but I am not going to glue this guy in quite yet because I just want to leave a few places un unglued in case I need to make some adjustments, remove it. You understand what I'm saying? So for now, we're just going to let that guy sit there. But that's pretty much how it's going to be. Okay, so we need to make sure we've got a downhill run towards the sewer. So we have to level. I'm not sure if you can see that. Bubbles are on the left side of the uh, line, so I think we're good to go there. And now we're ready to make our 90 degree and run it up along the fence. Okay, we're rounding the bend here, going up along the fence. I'm very happy so far with how this is coming together. Got the level indicating that we are, yes, on the proper incline. And uh, got these hangers. And I'm going to use nails to hang those on the fence posts.
So I got one more stick of pipe to come through the fence there. Maybe three feet long or so. So I want to put a post in, digging a hole, so that I can secure the uh, final piece. There's not just hanging there. I don't know if a piece of pipe here. It doesn't have to go very high. So we'll use this post to secure that last piece of pipe that sticks through the fence. All right, home stretch here. Running a little low on the lickum stickum juice. I think we'll be all right though. One last hanger. There we go. Making a mess. And that's the last piece. Okay, so here's our, uh, just about our last step. I took a piece of the flexible pipe. Here's the connector that goes up here on the, on the arm. Well, kids are yelling. All right, so he goes in there like that. And this end, slide and So right the project's over. done, all I gotta do is cement this connection in. You remember we didn't do that. Looks pretty good and goes up to the RV. Bye kids. I will have to come up with a way to support this pipe because inevitably with kids and stuff somebody ought to step on it. I got to support that and probably in the middle. A couple of places so that it does not break. And we are good to go. I am Buck WSR Weezer. Our, air, our RV is now ready for our first Airbnb guest. Sewer's all hooked up. Hope this video helps you, inspires you, shows you how you can connect your travel trailer, RV, motorhome, camper, hard pipe it into the sewer system. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you watching. Please feel free to leave your comments, questions, criticisms, complaints. Uh, mostly your, your words of uh, laud and praise. Gratitude. Yeah, it's not a problem, people. I'm here for you. Buck WSR Weezer. Bye.